This is a really quick tutorial on how to make wine glass coasters. These are so much fun, they're so simple to make and they're made to measure for your glasses as well. But it just means that you can decorate your glasses with the decor of your home if you're having a party or a celebration or make these personal for each one of your visitors. So I've just left mine really plain as you can see but if you wanted to add a little bit of lace across here or um, maybe some fancy stitches on your sewing machine or a ribbon or even initials then of course you can do. But again very quick very simple to make here's how we do it so basically we need four circles which I'm going to cut out all in one go so I fold my fabric into four and the size of the circle is depicted by the size of your wine glass so I'm simply going to draw on the wrong side of my fabric doesn't matter what kind of pen you're using here I'm going to draw around the edge of the circle like so And I'm using a heat erasable pen, but you could use a biro for this because you're not actually going to see it. And then I'm going to cut slightly larger than this. So by about um, half an inch or a centimeter all the way around. You could redraw this to be precise if you wanted to, but it's quite easy actually to see where you're cutting and make that kind of a uniform size all the way around. So four circles. But then I'm going to take two of my circles. Then I'm going to take two of the circles and fold them in half and press them. So that's with the wrong sides together. Like so, and then the same with this one. And then I'm just going to top stitch across the edge of the fold here and here. And the same with this one. Now if you want to put any kind of decorations on them, do it at this stage. So if you wanted to put ribbon or lace or something like that down here, then of course you can do. Then we're going to take the back of the coaster so if you're going to decorate it, then the decorations will go face down on this part. So if you put ribbon on here, plonk it down so that the ribbon is in between the two pieces. And the same with this side. Just cut that long thread off there. And just match those two pieces in the centre. I'm just going to pop a couple of pins in here for now. And I'm just going to sew a little way around here. And that's going to be a quarter of an inch or six millimetres from the edge. Like so. So I've just sewn a little bit here like that. So I can take that pin out. Hey Bob. And then my second circle goes over the top. And I've just put a pin in here. And take that one out and pop that in there. Now because I've left a gap of half an inch here, I want to sew kind of down the middle. So you can see where my line is there. I am going to sew from this side, but I want to sew in between the edge of the fabric and that line. Um, and that'll give me enough room to actually get this onto the, onto the glasses. So I can see where I've already sewn there and I'm just going to carry on that line all the way around. Being careful that my pins are out of the way. I know I've pinned from the other side here but I don't want to hit those pins. So I'm sewing all the way around 
until I get back to the section that I've already sewn. So let's take those out. And that means I have a gap. Now I'm going to trim the seams back a bit here. If you've got pink in shears, that would be ideal. I'm not going to kind of cut into the seams with little V-shapes because that's going to take an age. But just trimming back some of the seam allowance is going to help the seam to sit flat. That goes in the bin. And then where was the gap? Then we're going to turn this the right side out, or turn it through once anyhow. There you are. So let's turn this the right side out. Just push that through. And this will still kind of be on, on the inside. That'll make sense in just a minute. So just push out all of the curves. So you can see I've got the circle here, but there's my gap at the side. So I'm going to actually sew that closed by hand. So I just take my needle and thread and I'm going to fold the edge. This is on the inside, so it's not terribly important, but I'm just going to fold the edges of my circle to the center. I don't want to sew all the way through to the outside. I just want to catch these edge bits. And then, see if you can see that. I'm just going to do a little ladder stitch. So I'm going to go in one side and over to the other. So again, fold in those raw edges. And try not to take the needle all the way through to the right side of the fabric. We don't see these stitches on the inside, basically. So again, let's fold that in. If you're giving these as, um, as a gift, then I think it's quite important that you make this nice and neat on the inside. If you're using them yourself, it doesn't really matter. No one's ever going to see the inside of these and whether you've managed to invisibly sew the hole together or not. So don't worry if your stitches aren't the neatest on the inside like this. OK, that'll do for there. So let's just knot off my thread. And then I can turn this whole thing through. So again, if you put embellishments on here, that will be on the outside there. Let's give this another quick press. These are so quick to make as well. If you're having a big party with lots of guests around, it's not going to take you very long to make one for everybody. And then this simply slips over your glass. And I think you'll agree, you've got the best dress glass at the party. So that was a quick one, but that's really simple. It's something that any level of sewer can actually make. And if you don't have a sewing machine, you can actually make those by hand as well. It really won't take you very long. So I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you enjoyed making yours. Cheers. <laughs>